Here's everything you need to know before upgrading to iOS 7, available for download today. iOS 7 drops today for Apple users, so you can go download it now on most iPhones, iPods, or iPads. iOS 7 is the biggest change to its mobile game ever, according to Apple, and there's a number of revamps worth mentioning. You'll see many of your settings in a new control panel accessible in a pull-up menu, enhanced multitasking, a redesigned camera app with filters and automatic categorizing of photos, new Safari, smarter Siri, iTunes Radio, and so much more. Oh, and all the pretty colors. Your app should update automatically, too, in the new OS so you won't have to manually update apps ever again. However, we should mention that as with many large OS updates, there are bound to be some kinks. For example, one software tester claimed that 90% of the apps he was running on the new OS crashed or experienced other performance problems. Regardless of how accurate that is, it's always a good idea to back up all your info, which you can do by going into your settings, iCloud, storage, and backup while you're on Wi-Fi, of course, but you already knew that. However, if you're on an old school version of the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, don't worry, your plight is not forgotten by Apple. For any of you still using anything older than an iPhone 4, iPod 5th Gen, or an iPad 2, sorry, but your device can't run iOS 7. However, Apple will still be offering last compatible versions of some apps. For example, if you try to install Instagram on a second gen iPod Touch, you'll get a notification asking if you want to download a prior version of this app. In some cases, these versions might be over a year old, but it solves the problem of out of date apps that people with aging devices would sometimes encounter. So, have you downloaded iOS 7 yet? And if so, what are your impressions? Let us know in the comments, as always, and don't forget to subscribe. For TFN, this is Annie.